Hey folks, this is Mike here from the Maine Primitive Skills School. I just wanted to share with you or clarify what winter skills are. I mean, there's two approaches to the suite of skills that we use in the out of doors. Uh, one is survival, which w within the context of the skill sets and their spectrum of development here at this school is an emergent skill set. In other words, survival is a commentary on nature illiteracy. And when you find yourself uh, detached from the umbilical cords that keep us alive in our modern world, we find ourselves in survival, in a suffering situation that might even be life-threatening. Winter skills through that approach of winter survival, which is important, being able to procure shelter, water, fire, and food from the landscape. Then there's the more in-depth, more sustainable uh, winter skills that are proactively preparing for the rest of the winter or getting ready for the spring. Another aspect of winter skills is being able to work hides and prepare meat by cutting thin strips into jerky and taking the wool and the fibers that we've gathered through the fall and creating clothing, warm clothing from them, repairing our bows and our arrows and making our traps and snares and also planning for the spring. Not only the garden, of course, but also how we're going to set up our fishing nets and what is our strategy for gathering the wild mustards and the emergent fiddleheads and after that all of the succession of wild harvested mass larders or crops that are available to us and the sequence of berries that come through the calendar and work us into the fall grains and nuts. So these things are important in winter. We go into our shelters to stay warm, but in that process of doing so, we're repairing the bindings on our snowshoes or redoing the webbing, or we're making a new ice pick so that we can cross the lakes and rivers without fear of drowning. And the last piece to all of this is the, the general context in which we are uh, applying these skills. There's a progression. If you find yourself suffering in nature, that means your skills are lacking. Well, winter is the crucible. I mean, this is the time where you've got to be on your A-game. And so, like our ancestors, we rely on community and we rely on preparing for this season from spring through summer and into fall. And a lot of the skills that we're going to cover, we're going to be using some of the fibers that we gathered in early spring through harvesting the basswood and letting it rot in a small stagnant stream for a period of weeks before letting them dry through summer so that we could have them here and available now for our traps and our snares and our bindings and a whole host of things. And that's not just the fibers we're talking about. We're talking about meats and, and berries and syrups and, and tinctures and salves and ointments that are available to us now because we prepared for this coming winter. So I want to invite you on a tour, if you will, of your ancestral gifts. The things that your great-great-grandparents received from their great-great-grandparents because they loved enough to pass along the wisdom. These things are latent within all of us. And there is a spectrum from suffering and the emergent skill level we call survival to a more fleshed out and deeper form of nature literacy that we call earth living. So come along, won't you? Join us in one of our winter skills courses. It's a blast and you'll get smarter for the skills you learn.